welcome my name is cassie i hope you're having a good day or had a good day wherever you can be in this world today i am doing my saint patrick's day look a little glam kind of soft glam but not really um i didn't want to do rainbows or anything like that i'm pretty much focusing on green today and a little bit of a pop of an orange I am still going with my one palette tutorial with this, but I do use one other color from another palette that is completely optional. You don't have to use it, but that's totally up to you. So if you'd like to see how I got this look, then please just keep on watching. And also, have you subscribed yet? Because it's free. To start off, we're gonna prime our eyes with this Kat Von D Lock It Cream Concealer in the shade L15 Neutral. And I'm just going to rub this all over my eyelids and I'm going to pat it out with a flat foundation brush. But didn't really like the way that it worked, so I just used my beauty sponge and that worked a lot better. And I am going to set this as well. I know normally I don't, but I am going to set it with the MAC Prep and Prime translucent finishing powder but I make sure that I don't put too much that's why you'll see me pat my eyelids because if it's too much powder then your eyeshadow isn't going to be able to blend properly so today's palette of choice is the Huda Beauty Emerald Obsessions diamond collection or something like that and we're going to be focusing on pretty much four colors so starting with this brush that I got from Walgreens, we're gonna take the lightest shade, it's like a lime green shade, and we're gonna focus this in our crease, and it's gonna be our transition color and all of that, and I flick it out at the end because I want to have a super harsh, like, cut outer corner, I guess is what you would call it. I don't know, I'm just making sure that the color is adding up there, and then we're gonna take this Morphe, m535 brush super fluffy and we're going to be taking the medium green which is like the only other matte shade in this palette excuse me <sighs> i had to sneeze sorry um but yeah there's pretty much only three matte shades in this palette which is kind of um not okay but i still get away with it so i keep blending and blending and blending and i'm pointing because you can't really notice on camera but off camera it was like making a super dark green shade but that's okay and then we take this flat brush it literally says step one for the money and taking that deep brown shade but honestly it's kind of weird because when i apply it it almost looks like an olive green so i don't know if it like shifts with the color you use it but we're focusing this right on the outer corner and taking that same brush that we just used and blending it all out taking the cap on concealer again in the shade neutral with this flat brush and we're going to carve out my lid just like halfway and the way that I do it like I just showed you is putting a little bit on the edge and looking up and this will help me carve out. I don't really like this method because I feel like I have such hooded eyes that my cut crease is so far up so and like it looks pointy but I end up fixing it so I don't think that I'm going to use that method anymore but it is just that's like the easiest way to do a cut crease pretty much and I blend it out with my brush but then I'm gonna blend it out with my finger and because I feel like that works better and it makes it more like seamlessly blended and then I'm gonna take this shiny shade I don't even know there's no names but it's like a greenish greenish goldish and applying that with my finger because I feel like the more color payoff is with my finger and then taking the shiny brownish greenish shade and putting it on the outer corner and using my Moda brush and blending that out. And then I am taking a flat, not a flat, a pencil brush from Morphe. It's the E36 and focusing the darker green right above where I cut the crease just to make it like more blended, which is exactly what I'm showing you right here. And again, blending everything out with my finger. And then I'm going to take my Neutrogena Makeup Remover Wipes and I'm going to focus cutting that sharp edge. But I want to make sure that I leave some eyeshadow down below so that way I can blend the bottom lash line as well. And taking these beautiful Eyler X Nicole Guerrero um, eyelashes and applying them. 
taking this flat brush Morphe M432 with that brownish shade and pretty much lining my waterline and it wasn't good enough for me so I'm using the Morphe eyeliner in the shade Date Night. It's a brown but it's like a reddish brown so it wasn't really exactly what I wanted but it did the trick so now I'm taking my Morphe M321 brush and taking the darker green shade and blending that from outer corner to the inner corner and then I'm going to take the lighter green shade and do the same exact thing but bring it a little bit lower and now we're taking the Laura Lee Los Angeles Party Animal Palette and just using the orange and this is what I mean um, you don't have to use the orange at all because afterwards I go over it with like a green shimmer but this is just what I wanted to do you could just do that shimmer that you have on the inner corner but it's completely preference and it's not as orange towards the end. I put that green highlight on it. So we're going to do the Kat Von D Alchemist palette. And again, you can use the same green um, glittery shade that we used on the lid. But I'm going to use this and it's just literally the green shade. And I'm focusing that with my Luxie 111 mini flat angled brush. And tapping that right on top of the orange so that way you can kind of dim it down a little bit because I didn't want it to be too harsh but I definitely still wanted the orange to be there so I keep going back and forth packing on the orange packing on the green shimmer and just letting it do its magic and I tried to put some orange in the waterline but you couldn't really notice it so you don't have to do it save your time Taking that same green highlighting shade from the Alchemist palette and highlighting right under my brow bone. But again, you can use any highlighter. I use this entire highlighter all over my face just because it has the green. Taking the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara and putting it on my lower lash line. So this is the final look. Super simple, didn't take me that long. Um, I have the Jeffree Star Karma liquid lipstick on my lips, if you are wondering. Um, it kind of matched that darker greenish brownish shade. I truly did enjoy this emerald palette, and this is what it's focusing on. You do not have to use the Laura Lee palette, you do not have to use orange. You can just use the green if you would wish, but this is how I wanted it. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video.